This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Huh? Good morning, Jake Paulers. What is going on, people? Right now, we are in Houston, staying at my boy Nikki's house. He's a Jake Pauler. Yeah. We reached out to him and we're like, yo, we need a place to stay. We are stationed like 10 minutes outside of where all the floods are happening and all the people are getting rescued and all the shelters are. If you're new here, I'm Jake Paul. You guys are the Jake Paulers and it is lit every single day, bro. Before we get started, I will really want to send this message of like being grateful for everything you have. Like just driving in this morning, there is a lot of chaos going on and I really want you guys at home to be like so thankful and grateful for the things that you guys have. You never know what's gonna happen to it. We're doing all we can to help with Hurricane Harvey and there's so many people out there that are helping and I wanna thank you guys. An update on the hurricane, today is the first day that it hasn't been raining and that the sun is actually out. So things are looking better but there's still a ton of repair to be done and still a ton of families and people that need food and that are still stuck inside of their houses. And so that's what we are hoping to set out to help resolve today. We got a big day ahead of us. Stay tuned guys. We're gonna need your help. We're gonna need your support. I don't know what's gonna happen today but things are like gonna get really serious and like, um, any support we can get from you guys would be super helpful, as well as I know the families here and the Jake Paulers here in Houston are gonna be super appreciative of it. And like I said, my first ever meetup was here in Houston. And so this means a lot to me that I'm able to do this. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going in. It's pretty high. Just watch the skis in the back. And once I can start to flow. The mailboxes are like up to the top. She's over her knees back down here. Yeah, you can just tell it to me now. Do you have yeah, I got, I got it pulled up. I'm sorry, you're breaking up. One, two. All right, yep. tell her I'm three minutes away. Okay, we have somebody that's, they're three minutes away, they'll be there. This is absolutely, like this is on nuts, guys. All right, guys, so we have an address. There's a family of seven. It's half a mile away through all of this water. Guys, just stay here, all right? Yeah. They're only a couple, they're only a little bit up, guys. Yo, do you guys need help? You guys need help? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You guys need help getting out? Were you the person? Yeah, we're, we're coming to get you. Okay. Yeah, we have cedars out here. Okay. Hi. Hi. Are you guys okay? Um, I'm trying to get out of here. Yeah, we have cedars. Okay. Yeah. All right. Follow me, guy. That's number one. I got you. Come on, buddy. Are you okay, bud? It's gonna be all right, all right? All right, ready? I'm gonna pick you up. You good? Alright, you're gonna get it on the back of mine, alright? Okay. Do you like orange? Orange or green better? Yeah, you got choices. Orange. <laughs> orange. Orange is a fast Alright, sit up there. Alright. I'm gonna take you to this truck up here. Uh -huh. Um and then we'll get everyone on the back of the truck and then we'll drive out, alright? Okay. All right, buddy. Ready? This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. There's more people? Yeah. Three more? Okay, he's got their suitcases. Oh, 
this is a step. You can step right there. And then climb on the back. There you go. Thank you, Jake. Thank yeah. you. whole entire neighborhood is flooded. It's really, really deep. We're like up on a platform right now. It's like six feet deep right here. All right guys, the biggest problem that we're having is like finding people's where, the, where people's houses are and where people need help. Like there's no way of communicating with them. It's actually like really, really sad. In uh, Northeast Texas, there's still a lot of flooding. They're right uh, on the bay kind of they're right on the bay, so that's where we're gonna head now. It's starting to get dark, so um, we're gonna see what we can do. Guys, we're going all over the city right now, trying to find where we can help people. As you can tell, it's dark outside, uh, so it gets a little bit more dangerous. There's still families who need our help. Keep on going down there, there's Memorial Drive Presbyterian Church, there was a bunch of people there looking like they had Stuff, so. Okay. okay. Thank, right, you, thank you. He said a couple of miles. Thank Bye. you. So we're driving all around the city. Uh, at nighttime, you don't know who needs help because they're all inside of their houses, and you basically can't get to their whole entire houses. Uh, we're we're basically lost. We're like communicating with the police and everything. Like, and these people here are all um, are all helping out as well. But check this out. There's like a whole neighborhood back there. Uh, and nobody knows if there's like more people or not. Emergency! 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 We need any unit near the city of Warden to head to a CPS. There are babies being held Try just spell because it many ways. there are people holding babies above the water. That's how deep it is. We need any units that are available on call. The two firefighters are going to ride with you guys. So go ahead and drop them in the water. They're on their way over here right now. Are there people back there? They, there's a car that an airbag went off, and they're trying to figure out if someone got hurt. They don't know. Okay. So, so we're putting them in? Put them in. Yeah, yeah. He said put them in. Okay, guys. So the fire department just is, is now asking us to drive them back into this area that we were talking about because apparently someone's back there. Uh, so we're, we're going to help rescue them. I don't know what's going down, but... They have information and uh. Yeah. It's insane. I'm Brian. Jake, nice to meet you. Nice Appreciate to meet you this. too. So what is it? What exactly is going down? It's a Lexus that uh, hit something in the uh, airbag. Airbag with well, a thing, the automatic notification. You know, it went off and they can't get hold of anybody. Are you from here? No. Are you, were you from Dallas? No, LA. Oh, LA, okay. Did you guys come here from LA? Yeah. I you want them? Here, phone? hand me the bag. I'm just asking you to ask you tops off slow. I mean, this is I, I just can't, you know, here. prescriptions and some medical. No, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, insurance papers. No, you're fine. <laughs> Is there anything you need us to secure in the property? No, I mean, I just put it in there hoping for the best. And okay, hey, uh, I don't know how well you know your neighbors or anything. Anybody have any dogs or cats that you know of? No, sir. I mean, I when I saw Sometimes people you're... leave, they were taking their pets okay, with them. That's good. Y'all okay. just take me wherever. Okay, okay we'll do it. Or y'all just kind of like the Good Samaritans? Or? Yeah, that's us. Those two are firefighters. We're just the Good Samaritans. And they were having trouble. I mean, like having to get out of the boat and kind of turn it around by hand. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple shallow parts a little farther up the road. You guys, can, you guys can push it up. There's, the road. Right there's, there's a curve right here. Yeah. Okay. Take that family. Got it. I think so. Awesome. Yes, sir. Apparently two hours away from us, guys. There's literally... All rescuers, hold your position. Hold your position. A dam has broken Orange County and is heading towards Port Arthur. Hold your position. <laughs> Yo. Two hours from us. Absolutely. A dam broke and is heading towards a city. In that same city, there's an elementary school that is being held hostage by shooters. This is, if you are in Port Arthur, if you're in Port Arthur or anywhere near there, evacuate guys, like. Now people are getting shot at for no reason. We need, oh guys. Oh my God. They have helicopters. Okay, copy that. Hey. Is everything looking good there? Do we need to send people there? What is the head count? Are you making progress? National Guard is on site there. The National, National Guard, Guard is, is there. On site there, confirmed by the choppers. The National Guard is there. There's choppers there. They're trying to get Chopper the kids out. Do not send anybody in that area. It's bad and the, con the conditions are very dangerous. Do not send anybody to that area. Yo, we need to. Oh my god. That's confirmed. Evacuate port. Yo, I just want to like go there. Jake Wallers made it to safety. Super exhausted. Super emotional. Don't really know what to make of this like whole entire thing. But it's absolutely insane. There's so many families out there still. The hurricane is still going all, all across Texas and into Louisiana. We might head there today. There was apparently a shooting that was going down. The National Guard was getting shot at. Helicopters were getting shot at. A whole entire dam just broke and the water just started pummeling the whole entire city. There's still so much to be done here. And it, there's not enough people and there's not enough supplies and there's not enough time. If you guys can get involved in any way, any fund, uh, we have a GoFundMe. We have merchandise that you guys can buy. But in any way, shape, or form that you guys can get involved, please do. We seriously need all the help that we can get. And guys, we're trying to do as much as we can and rescue as many people as we can and get supplies and, and raise money. Um, it's still not enough. We still need as much as we can get. My prayers go out to any families that are in trouble or have lost a loved one. This is just a reminder to be thankful for everything you have in your life and not to take anything for granted. Please get involved ever, any way you can. Keep on smiling. Keep on working hard. Keep on making the world a better place every single day. Help out with the Hurricane Harvey. And please stay up to date with everything that we have going on here because I don't know when we're going to need your help next. But we're probably going to need the Jake Paulers to come together as a community. So stay tuned. We're going to keep on hustling. We might have to drive three hours to Port Arthur where the hurricane is hitting right now. Uh, so... I'll see you guys tomorrow because it's every day, bro. Peace. Jake Pollers, what's poppin'? Check out this new merch. Ooh, that merch is hot, boy. New items of merchandise. Limited time. Click the link. 
make sure you're subscribed to keep up with my life on a daily basis. And if you want to see more content, check out yesterday's vlog because it is super lit. Plus, I have a second channel, Jake Paul 2, which you guys can subscribe to right now. And if you want to see more content from everyone in the house, our group channel is called Team 10. Check it! See you guys tomorrow. Peace!